Hey everyone, it's Matt over to Common Idiot. Hope you are doing well. And today, Spider-Man's No Way Home official trailer finally dropped, and we kind of all know why. The trailer leaked the other day, and I'm pretty sure uh, Marvel and Disney were not happy about that, or Sony for that matter. But So I think this forced their hand, and we got the trailer. And I have to admit, even for someone like myself, who I'm not a big fan of Tom Holland's Spider-Man, or, uh, and this kind of what they're doing with the MCU, this movie looks pretty nuts. And I think Marvel really needs this win. And the hype right now for this is going off the just out of this world. Already 7.9 million views. And like I said, even though I'm not a big fan of what they've been doing with MCU and everything, this looks pretty dope. Uh, I am a giant, massive Spider-Man fan. Always have been since I was a kid. My favorite Spider-Man and Spider-Man movies are the Tobey Maguire OG movies. Besides number three, the first and second one are my favorite Marvel movies of all time. So knowing the fact that more than likely Tobey Maguire Spider-Man is going to show up. We did see in the trailer Doc Ock showed up. Uh, the Green Goblin's pumpkin lands. Uh, it, it looks absolutely nuts, the fact that we might have all three Spider-Mans on screen. And they also hinted to some other villains. I know Vulture is potentially going to be in it. We're going to potentially see Electro as well. Basically, they're going to be fighting Sinister Six, which is probably one of the best and badass villain groups of all time in comic book history so people can dispute that if they want but that's at least what i think so i'm excited to see how they do it and how they pull it off and hopefully they do it well i'm really hoping marvel doesn't drop the ball on this i don't want these movies to fail i want marvel to do good movies i want to see good comic book movies so i'm really hoping they're able to to pull this off and do this well but the trailer looks nuts and like i said in the past i'm not the biggest multiverse fan but this idea is pretty cool. I, the idea of why they're doing this, kind of like him just making a oopsie based on the trailer because uh, Peter was talking too much while he was doing the spell, kind of, eh, we'll see. I'm not judging too bad. But overall, the fact that you're bringing back these OG characters is, I don't know, I'm excited about it. I definitely want to see what they do with it and where they go with it. And the trailer looks pretty freaking sick. Like I said, you could see in the, like here, here's the trailer. There's the Green Goblin's pumpkin. Uh, Dr. Octopus shows up and it's just, it's so awesome. Look at that. That's so sick to see him show up like that. Now, I'm not a big fan of the, uh, the, I call it Iron Boy, like this iron spider suit. I'm not a fan of that. But like I said, it's not the worst thing in the world. And as you could see, tons of people. Tons of people are just losing their minds on seeing this, and its I don't blame them. I mean, everybody's been wanting this. Now, the only thing I will say is that, obviously, they didn't want to release this so soon because I think this is going to overshadow the release of Shang-Chi and the Eternals. They just released information on the Eternals. Shang-Chi, I believe, is supposed to open in two weeks, and now nobody's talking about it anymore. Uh, I still think Shang-Chi will do decent in the theater as long as it's a good movie, but... Like I said, uh, I don't. I think they wanted to hold off on this and not release this too soon, only because they wanted to give some breathing room. Now this is set to be released in December, so we're not that far away if you think about it. It's already August, so we're right around the corner there. And here are some of the pictures that people were saying that can elude to Electro. Someone was also saying possibly Sandman, but I don't know about that. He might show up, uh, but I guess we'll see. But uh, I don't know why this isn't loading. But anyway. Uh, yeah, there's definitely some uh, that alludes to Electro being there. I know the Vulture was rumored to be there as well. Doc Ock, Green Goblin. So I really think the Sinister Six are going to be there. And apparently there are some leaks out there online, which I haven't looked into or anything. I just really haven't had that much much interest to look. I'm not a big big into leaks and, and trying to find out the movie beforehand. If I could find out in the trailer, that's fine. But I'm not going out there looking for it. But I don't know. Let me know what you think below. Did you like the trailer? Did you get excitement from this? I think it looks pretty freaking cool. Like I said, I think Marvel really need this, needed this to build excitement going forward. Uh, I don't know how this movie is going to lead into possibly the Shang-Chi or Eternals, but I guess we're going to have to wait and see. But I think this is the thing that people are most anticipated for and want to see the most out of Marvel. And it definitely shows because, man, the excitement is is there. People are just retweeting this like crazy, and it's blowing the Internet up. So 
Uh, like I said, let me know what you think below about this. Let me see if you're, or let me know if you're gonna see this, if this is something that you're into, or if you just didn't really care for it. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. It helps with the algorithm, helps my channel. I would really appreciate that. And until next time, you guys take care.